Good morning everyone. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 13, lesson 1, page number is 825. Okay. Uh, I hope you guys are ready to take the new lesson. If not, stop this video, take out your books and pencils and get ready to take the new lesson. Okay. Uh, guys, before starting today's lesson, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, uh, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. So you guys don't need to wait for the links. Okay, let's start today's lesson here. Uh, the lesson is about measure parameters. The distance around a closed figure is called the parameter. First of all, you have to understand what is a parameter. Basically, if you have any closed figure, let's say this rectangle, it's a rectangular figure, this rectangle, all its four sides, that is parameter basically the boundaries of any figure okay so how we find the parameter we add all the four sides okay uh, look at this one boys now if this one is six so of course that will also be six if this one is 12 so for sure this one will also be 12 because you know that opposite sides in a rectangle they are same so if we add all of them 12 rectangular figure okay let us move to the next okay here see boys the formula to find the parameter l l w w so two lengths two lengths and two widths two widths so we can add all of them L plus W, L plus W, and L plus W, length plus width. Or we can multiply. We have two lengths, so two times length, and we have two widths, so two times width. I hope you understand. Let's move to the next page. Okay, here. In a square, boys, you know that all the four sides of a square are same. If they just tell us 1, 6, so we know that all other are 6. And you know how to find the parameter, add all the four sides. Or you can multiply the number of sides by 1, because how many sides in a square? 4. And each one is 6, so 4 times 6, that is 24. If you add all these 6, that is 24. Here, 24, 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, 24. And 4 times 6, that is 24. So both ways are correct. You can use both of them. Okay. Uh, let us move to the guided practice. Here, boys. A square. All four sides same. Add all of them. Or multiply 4 times 8. Both will give you the same answer. 32. Here. It's a rectangle. Different sides. 22 okay let's move to the next page it's independent practice boys i hope you can finish it by yourself but let me tell you some of the important things here uh, boys if this one is eight so the opposite side that also now you can add all of them if this is 15 this one also must be 15 if this is three that is 3. Now you can add all the four sides to find this. Add all the four sides to find the parameter. Okay. Let us move down if something important to tell you. Let me clear the screen first. Okay. Uh, here boys, this one. How many yards? So you guys know that if this is 6, so for sure that is also six and what about this guys if this is four that is also four so here you can add all of them here you can add all of them to find that okay now this one one two two here two here one two three four five six seven eight eight here eight here add all of them to get this one Similarly here, count all the boundaries. Parameter basically means, boys, boundaries. Only the boundaries, not the area inside. Okay. 
I hope you finished that. Let us move to the next page. If this is 300, boys, and this is also 300. If this one is 160, that is also 160. So 300 plus 300, that is 600. And 160 plus 160, that is 320. Add both of them to get your answer. Okay. Now they want you to add the, this left area. You see, they left some area here, 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 and here. They told you that it is 10 yards. So add this one also, 10, 10, 10, 10. That is 40. So add 40 in this one, you will get your answer here. Okay, let us move to the next questions. Let me clear the screen for you guys. Okay. Here, boys. A baseball diamond is shaped like a square. The perimeter is 360 feet. So 360 and it is a square. So you can divide 300. Let me choose the marker first. Uh... three hundred and sixty and how many sides a square have four so times it four times nine that is thirty six zero bring this zero down four times zero that is zero and so ninety is the answer here finish your classwork boys now and also finish your homework and send me your homeworks through Pioneer. Have a nice day. Thank you so much.